Hey guys, <laughs> how you doing? I'm doing pretty good. I uh, think I figured something might come out pretty. <laughs> I just uh, tried it with a little lavender kind of color. This color here though is a light blue violet, Liquitex Basic, okay? This is a 10 by 20 and I'm going to do like a hair blower type method because I love working with hair blowers. Can't lose all this paint. Got to get this covered first. Need it pretty thick. But I just did one and I used black and it came out really kind of just, that was the eyesore, the black splotches. So, I really did like it, because <laughs> this is like a total abstract, and then I wanted to leave some negative space. So, I'm going to try it again. This time I'm not using black or silver. Okay, here we go again. <laughs> oh, I got a mess. I clean up, then I get a mess. I clean up, then I get a mess. It never fails. <laughs> All right. Let me try to find the nozzle to my hair blower. That was another thing I forgot to use. There it is. Whoops. <laughs> Okay, good to go. All right, so I'm gonna start with this purple. Are we in view here? Okay, now we are. Some bright blue, just a little bit though, not too much, because that can overpower. I love working with hair blocks, like resin towards it. I just love them. <laughs> then I'm gonna use turquoise. These are left over from that painting the other day. Oh, there's no silicone in here. I really didn't get a whole lot of cells out of it either. <clears throat> so it's just two parts flow trial, one part paint and some water. I did have to thin it down though because, uh, because it was thickened up sitting in my cups for my leftovers. Now, I suppose I'll go ahead and do this. Quinacridone magenta looks red for some reason. To me, it does. See? <laughs> All right. <laughs> so I made it a splotch right there, though. That's not good. But I do want some negative spaces. it up with the dry stick or fit you. <laughs> it's just gonna splatter anyway. 
Okay, now the white. Let's see. I'll put the white between the purple and the blue. this turns out yeah I hope so well at least I have my nozzle on this time okay here it goes so it's not really a dutch board this is just a hair blower type thing <laughs> okay here it goes struggling with too much conacre though that's okay because i can fix that with the blower i like this it's pretty and it has some character with some cells in some areas so i dig this up here i really do that's pretty Just give that some character. There we go. I like it now. I think I like everything. I'm good. Maybe just this purple. some kind of you know movement there we go that's pretty i like this i don't do these often okay let me uh, get my <laughs> my son just needs i like this i don't know if you guys do i love the colors 
So hold on just a minute. Let me get my torch. It's by where I did my resin painting. Hold on. Okay. So I'm totally loving this. I really am. Um, I couldn't think while I was doing this because I was trying to see where I wanted to move some paint around. But uh, Carrie's Chaotic Creations. <laughs> be something or another for the, yeah, the chaotic part. But she is very creative. And I've watched her do this many times. She's really good with blowing her paintings out. So check out her link in my description. Um, she's a very, very talented woman. She's taught me a whole lot of things. So yeah, this is where I got the inspiration from her, watching her and I like this. I like it, I love it actually. It's so pretty. Look at this. And I like how it has some solid going around in there. And some negative space. Let me unplug my cord. <laughs> that way the cord don't rub against it. The only thing, yeah, it's probably that one little area. Now I just noticed that. Although that is cool right there, but too much white right there. Just put a little bit of blue in there. So I like this because it has some character with some cells. Not the whole thing, just here and there. I don't know, you guys tell me what you think. I think it's beautiful. Well, that's it. I don't think I'm going to do anything to it because I like solid some here and there. And yeah, so when I was doing this, I was sorry I put the nozzle on because it worked actually better without it. It helped it kind of. I didn't really want it to look dutchy dutch. But it, yeah, good thing it didn't blend. That's all I know. This is gorgeous. Love the purple. There's blue showing up, turquoise in there. It's beautiful. All right, thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one. Uh, don't forget tomorrow we're having, I am having my auction, which I'm kind of nervous about because I have never had so many paintings in an auction. So I'm, I am having some, yeah, a little bit of anxiety. Nervousness, I guess, not anxiety. I'm a little nervous. So I will be live at 4 p.m. Mountain Standard Time tomorrow. All right, guys. Take it easy. Have a very good week. Finishing up your week here. And, um, and stay safe, positive, and happy. I'll catch you guys later. Bye-bye.